Well, 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 welcome back to another Zemazon Zero video. Hi, it's been a while since we've done one. What do you mean, since a while? Well, because the Grace, um, video took a damn long time to, like, get editing, so I'm like, you know what, fuck it, just, just paste it all together and make it so long. So, that's my first ever longest video uploaded to YouTube. But, well, uh, where I, um, have not been on here for a bit because I got sick and got busy with school so um after this video if I get one master tape I'm still currently recording a video of trying to get Seth so it's been almost a week since I've collected some master tapes so hopefully we can collect some poly 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 polychromes so we can do that and also Go ahead and do it, guys. All right. Bell, you're back. I've already got the TV set up to record it. What about you? Got anything coming up for the next two days? Well, no. What's up? If I didn't know better... Wait, don't tell me. You've forgotten what's happening soon? Remember? Nicole's lawsuit. Mm hmm. That's right. The vision demolition case proceedings begin in a couple of days. Our old buddy Nicole is going to be on TV. She's representing the Canvas Street residents in court. Even though we can't be there taking the stand, we played our part in cracking Vision's case. I think it's worth recording the trial. Just like you, always thinking ahead. Redo TV is streaming it right now. If you're not doing anything, you should watch it with me. Welcome to this special preview of the Vision Demolition Case. I'm reporting to you live from the helicopter pad atop Janus Quarters Security Bureau. In a few moments, Charles Perlman, the accused, the cunning hares representing the citizenry, and others involved in the case will, as is typical, travel to the new Eridu Supreme Court to await trial via the special court of law here. The court proceedings will be streamed in full, and citizens are encouraged to follow the proceedings from home. Nicole, the airship is almost here, and you still haven't finished packing. And on that note, Nicole, do you really need to pack so many things for court? What do you know? The whole city's following this case. In other words, it's a chance for us to make a name for ourselves. So, of course, I want to make sure I'm putting my best and prettiest face forward. I'm not kidding. I even printed off some flyers about us to pass around to potential clients out in the gallery. Nicole, that's your phone. Sounds like a message. Thank you. <gasps> huh? Nicole, what's wrong? Mm -hmm. Nothing. Uh -uh. Don't tell me. It's another deck collection message from one of our loan sharks. Nuh-uh. Put a sock in it, Nekomata. We don't owe anybody any money these days. Except for Faithen. And those other five loan sharks. Why are there more decks than last month? Nicole, what's going on? Who's that message from just now? Uh, huh? What's going on? Who is that? So many messages. And they're all blank? Ugh, I can't Which are all likely to be at the center of debate during the trial. Next, we have... I thought Perlman's crimes were so outrageous that the trial would just be a formality. I never thought they'd have to debate every single detail. No wonder Nicole's been so worried about this case. Faithen! 
Hello there, proxies. Nicole, Anby, what are you two doing? Aren't you supposed to be catching an airship to the Supreme Court today, Nicole? That was the plan, but I think there's something I need to discuss with you first, or else I'll be distracted in court. What's going on, Nicole? What do you want to faith in? Remember how you asked me a while back to help you track down the hacker Rain? And decrypt the Bellobog Heavy Industries memory unit? Hang on. Are you telling me your conscience has finally overcome you due to you two not being as close as you claimed? Of course not! You can doubt anything about me, but not my connections. Even if Rain is the hottest new thing on Internet, she will still back me up. It's just some weird stuff's been happening to her recently. Hmm? Do I smell some gossip? Put away your popcorn. It's not that simple. Basically, it's just this. Lots of us who are close with Rain, including me, get messages from her every now and then. But... They're all blank. At first, we didn't think anything of it. But then it continued for a couple weeks. And worse, apart from these messages, it's like she's disappeared into thin air. And it feels like things are getting worse. She used to send one every few days, max. But she's already sent five or six this morning. That does sound strange. Fairy, can you take a look at these messages from Rain and check to see if they really are blank? Of course, Master. Master, analysis confirms these messages contain absolutely no additional content at all. However, the sender's location is not encrypted. After analysis, the coordinates show the messages were sent near the Ballet Twins buildings. Hold on. Did you say the b Ballet Twins? What's wrong, Nicole? You've gone completely pale. Is there something wrong with that building? You must not care much for urban legends, Proxy. The Ballet Twins are a set of two towers, and lately, there have been popular rumors of paranormal events happening there. People say that there's... Quit it, Ambi! Enough! <clears throat> uh, anyways, fact of the matter is, those two towers were swallowed up by a hollow years ago. Ordinary people can't transmit data in and out of the hollows like you two. So how could Rain's messages be coming from there? Based on her capabilities, I don't think Fairy would be mistaken. Hey, Bell. Seeing as how we're urgently trying to find Rain, and since Nicole is so upset by this, what do you say we go over to the Ballet Twins and have a look around? Okay. I don't believe in ghosts. Nicole, we'll go check on Rain's location, but we're likely to end up in a hollow. Can you lend us Anby and the others? Of course. It's not like I'll need them in court anyway. Oh yeah, this is for you. It might come in handy. Nicole, in this picture, is the girl with the backpack rain? Huh? Is something wrong? She's a regular at our video store. Wow. I guess you really can't judge a book by its cover. If you want to talk about hidden identities, doesn't Faith then use the video store the same way? Hmm. Anyway, I'll leave rain to you because I've got a blimp to catch. Proxy, I'll take Billy and Nekomata with me. Meet us later near the Ballet Twins. Goodbye. Ah, uh, yo! What the fuck? Let's go! I know, like, this is the part where the story is gonna, like, come to an end. But I heard there's, like, a secret ending. And I'll do that in, like, a next video. Of, like, of the ending. To get, like, the achievement for it. Oh, uh, if I even do do it by accident, but I'll probably do like the normal ending so I can know what the normal ending was like, but Oh my god, that that is so cool with the bat <laughs> the Oh wait Whew, We made it, but where are the ballet twins? Just across the river inside the hollow did that hacker's message really come from the hollow? <gasps> Wait! Look above the hollow! That's the top of the ballet twins! So that's it! I'd heard the companion hollow had shrunk recently, oh. and that's left the top of the building exposed. So that means Nicole got that bizarro message from there, right? Even if that's true, 
What was Rain doing in a place like that? Okay, team. First, let's think of a way we can get ourselves up there. We're here. The ballet twins. Ooh. Impressive. It's no wonder you're able to walk around the building unhindered. But please, stop there. 
A wolf, Byron. The ballet twins are private property and are currently closed to visitors. I will allow you 30 seconds to explain your presence before I decide whether or not... <clears throat> In short, this place is not currently open to the public, and I... <clears throat> I'm sure I have stressed. Both the floors and one's weapons should be kept in pristine condition, have I not? Sorry, Mr. Lycon. I'm really sorry. <sighs> so tired. Ellen, stay on task. Professionalism. Coming. Hmm? Corin? Is that you? Huh? Oh, Miss Nikamata. And the investigator. Corin, do you know them? Yes, Mr. Lycon. They're the nice people who helped me out of Hollow that time. I see. Rina, for now, you may stand down. As you wish. When did you... <laughs> You're quite a perceptive young lady. You almost saw me. She means you were way off, way off, way off. If you aren't mere trespassers, that makes things easier. Allow me to introduce ourselves. We are Victoria Housekeeping. Victoria Housekeeping. Never heard of you. Hey, Ambie. Before I met Corin, I never heard of them either. But you're being so blunt, you'll embarrass them. <laughs> what a considerate young lady. But there's no need. Victoria Housekeeping primarily serves a small number of high net worth individuals in New Eridu and does not aim for popularity amongst the general public. Uh, I feel like we're being looked down on. But I can't think of a comeback. Everyone, please allow me to apologize on behalf of my companions. I am the head of Victoria Housekeeping, Von Lycon. We have been employed by the owners of the Ballet Twins to provide maintenance services here today. The owners? But I heard the Ballet Brothers who built them went bankrupt ages ago. You are correct. The Ballet Twins are indeed in a long-term state of foreclosure. The Lemony and Hollow's activity has waned as of late, and the city administration is interested in eliminating this sub-hollow here. My employer expects the building to appreciate in value, which is why he put down a deposit. Investing in buildings inside a hollow. Is that how rich people think? Well, whatever they're thinking. Thanks to that guy, we got to see corn again. Miss Nekomata, investigator. I'm glad to see you again, too. What? What are you doing here? This is the master's property. The association shouldn't have any missions here. Uh, well... Corin, the answer's obvious, isn't it? But forget that for now. Do you have anything I can use to kill time? My phone died. I don't think I have. Uh, wait! Ellen, you said the answer is obvious. You mean... <laughs> she means that our guests aren't really investigators. Looks like other than Corin, they've all figured. There is no need to be so wary. Victoria Housekeeping is duty bound to only our employers. We have no interest in unauthorized personnel within the Hollows. And not to mention, you help Corin. Moving forward, if you are willing to be truthful with us, we will do our utmost to assist. All right then, I'll be straight with you. I'm actually a proxy. Well, I didn't expect you to be the legendary proxy Faithen. And you're here to look for a missing friend. Have you seen anything noteworthy in the building, Lycon? As much as we'd like to help you, the official carrot provided to us is outdated and is unable to give us an accurate picture of what's going on inside the building. Sorry to interrupt, Belle, but we've got a situation. Nicole just called. She says she didn't realize until she got to the landing pad that all members of the Cunning Harrods were registered to take the stand. The court is requiring Billy and the others to attend. So, we gotta take the airship too? But what about helping the manager look for- I apologize for eavesdropping, but I have a proposition. What if the proxy works with us? The proxy is looking for someone, and our obsolete holodata is hindering our work. 
I believe it would be to our mutual benefit to work together. Well, if you're offering, then I'd be grateful for the help. It should be us thanking you. I am certain Victoria Housekeeping's work will go much more smoothly with your assistance. In any case, considering Phaethon's reputation, I'm certain our master would be pleased to make your acquaintance. For now, however, getting your friends out of the hollow seems to be the more pressing matter. We can head further into the building together after you finish your business. <laughs> I don't know why, because I've seen the trail the um one of the uh the trailers I think is the reason why. I think put uh, I I'll put up this thing right here is the reason why. Yeah that's 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 why. But it's so funny. All right. Let's say hello to the other three.
I can see why um, some people actually love Corn because she's silly and, you know. Uh, they did confirm her age, and I'm not gonna say it because, uh, yeah. Because I will be that age next year, so that's, you know. Let's see. <laughs> now that makes it sound cool. <laughs> 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 
Oh, that's it. It's just oh. <laughs> Sorry if it's taking so fucking long, I like to read these dialogues, bro. Things, Bell. Have you met up with Victoria Housekeeping yet? Good timing. Yeah, I just met everyone. Sounds like you're getting along fine with everyone. We need to find Rain as soon as possible. You should hurry back and get ready for the Hollow. And the, the others are so slow. If they mess up now, the media will sensationalize it. Ah, they're coming out, they're coming out! Ladies and gentlemen, moments ago, the def- Shockingly, despite the crimes he's being charged with, Perlman shows no signs of being worried. Hmm. Fools. A real surprise is yet to come. I accept your request. I'll put the instructions in your suitcase for the day you board. Open it two hours after takeoff. Do what the instructions say, and someone will help you get out of New Eridu. Hey, where's my suit for court? Did the suitcase come? It's right here. Good, bring it over. What are you so smug about? It's about to hit the fan, Pearlman. 
hit the fan. <laughs> Young lady, you've no idea how horrible this city can get. <laughs> Just you wait. What? Oh, great. You are <sighs> running for so long. How come you look fine? <laughs> The respiratory module I swapped out a few days ago has an anaerobic mode installed. It... Mm, oh, no. I can't switch back to intake mode! I told you not to use that cheap black market junk. All right, cut it out. Does it really... What's wrong, Andy? Something... I was just thinking. We left Faith into a group of strangers from a housekeeping company. Is that really okay? Nikomata knew one of them, right? And besides, the ballet twins belongs to their master, so the proxy shouldn't be in any danger. That's not it. I'm concerned once the proxy works with another squad, they'll notice a significant difference in the quality of service and won't want to work with us again. But don't be silly, Ambi. The cutting hairs are first class. I'll have you. Besides, we have a relationship with Faithen. Those guys, they're completely new. Nothing to worry about. Okay. Master Proxy, since your friend was most likely on the rooftop of Tower B, perhaps that should be our first destination? Sounds good, Lycon. Thank you for your help. You are quite welcome. You are our most important guest, and your wish is our command. I do hope we can find Miss Rain soon so you and your friends can rest easy. Dear guide, would you be so kind as to look at this map of the ballet twins? As you can see, we are currently located at the entrance to Tower A. According to our carrot, we'll have to go through the central corridor between the two to get to the other building. Affirmative. The information provided by the agent is accurate. This should be your target location. I'll lead the way, everyone. Let's go. We are at your command. Entry into Tower A of the Ballet Twins confirmed. This place still creeps me out, even though... <laughs> This fucking intro is good. Damn. <sighs> 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 
cannot stop me. Holy sh! Proxy, all nearby ethereals have been cleared. Good work, Bell. Why don't you and the others rest a bit while I calculate the next route? Is it just me, or have the lights been flickering a lot on our way over? Oh, is that so? It's happened a few times. Looks like the rumors might be true. Hmm? Oh, you haven't heard, Prox? <coughs> Alan! What? Was I not supposed to say anything? Boss's mission brief was so long, I didn't read it. But whatever. Rena's here anyway. If the proxy finds out anything, she'll take care of it. Take care of it? Uh... Ellen, Colin! Keep talking like that, and you're going to give people the wrong idea about the Deer Guide. Allow me to clarify. Are you familiar with the supernatural rumors regarding the... I've heard it mentioned once or twice. The story goes like this. When the ballet twins' buildings were swallowed up by the Hollow, a pair of famous dancers, two sisters, died here. Rumor has it that the sisters became the masters of the building and would warn visitors with flickering lights. Now, if those visitors still refuse to leave, the sisters cause a blackout and show up in the darkness to harvest the souls of their visitors. It's an old story, but recently someone claimed to have experienced some similar phenomena in the building. Our master believed letting the rumors spread would inevitably affect the value of the ballet twins. So we were commissioned to investigate the truth under the guise of maintaining the building. So there is stuff going on behind the scenes. No wonder you didn't say so. Originally, we believed the rumors to be the fabrications of troublemakers. But at the very least, it appears power outages do indeed occur. But a power outage could pose a problem. Tower B's atrium is fitted with automated fire-resistant partitions. Power failure causes them to instantly cl- Since finding this rain is our priority. To avoid having our route cut off, we should speed things up. Shit's about to go down. We are approaching the atrium. Let's get this over with quickly. are flickering faster. Let's hurry, everyone. Right! You can rely on us to protect you. This way, please. Mind your step now, dear. I'll do my best.
Unfortunately, we are a step too late. The automated partition is completely closed. Oh no! We were so close to getting through! Corin, it's a maid's duty to help our guests. You shouldn't look so upset. Any bright ideas on how to open the door, gang? There may be a manual switch installed on the partition. One moment, please. No need to bother, Rena. It's pretty solid metal, but it shouldn't be a problem for me and Corin to make a hole. Sounds easy enough. But isn't the building your employer's property? Is that really a good idea? Huh. I didn't expect you to be such a rule-abiding proxy. Master's concern was about the rumor. Besides, who's gonna find out? Reminder, it would be prudent not to cause any structural damage, as the only structure connecting the two buildings. The atrium is in a highly unstable state due to the hollow. Any sizable blow could lead to localized structural changes. After some investigating, I have located the switch on the other side of the corridor. It appears we currently lack the means to get through. I suggest we withdraw and take some time to rest. Victoria Housekeeping will investigate the cause of the blackout, and we will surely find a way through. That is crazy. And don't tell me I have to like wait to get to like level like 36 or something. Okay, that'll be the... Another time for that. I fucking knew it. It was. I know it. God damn it. Well, that's just bad luck. Then, uh. <laughs> I'll see you guys in a later story. Well, the Seth. Well, I'm trying to get him. But Kaleida's uh, commission story. I'll do that later. But not right now. But I'll see you guys in the next one. And uh, catch y'all in the next video, basically. Of uh, the story of Zone Zone Zero. Anyways, y'all have a good day. This was so long. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye-bye.